All right, folks, today we're going to learn how to deal with mixture problems. All right, so here's our example worksheet. So, again, first thing we do, oops, when we're dealing with a word problem is you read the stupid thing, okay? Don't do anything else but just read, okay? So here we go. The registration fee at the Convention of National Counselors of Teachers of Mathematics was $5 for members and $9 for non-members. If the receipts at the convention were 400 4,450, and there are 850 people in attendance, how many members were registered? Okay, so we read this thing. Now, the next time we read this problem, we go through sentence by sentence, picking out the relevant information. Okay, so sentence number one. The registration fee at the, con at the convention of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics was $5 for members and $9 for non. Now, there's two key pieces of information here. I know that members is nine bucks. Oops. Come on. And I know non members is. Oops. Sorry. My dyslexia. It's late too. Five dollars for members, nine dollars for non members. There we go. That's better. Sorry about that. Now. If the receipts at the convention were $4,450 and 850 people in attendance, how many were registered? Well, again, we've got two key pieces of information right here. This right here, 4450 is what I call total... Oops. Come on, no. Is what I call total money. Okay, because that's what we're going to get for this thing, 4450 bucks. 850, that is what we call a total quantity. And yes, it's going to be sad to think of people as quantity, but they are. Now, when they give you total quantity, one gets x, the other gets the total minus x. So 850 minus x, because we're going to have to split this between the people who are members and the people who are non-members. Okay? So now that we're set, let's set up our boxes. One... Two, three. Okay, this will be for members, this is non-members, and this is our total. Okay, so let's fill in what we know. I know members are going to be five bucks. Now, I don't know quantity. Now, again, when we do this, money goes on the top. Our quantities go on the bottom. Okay? So, members are five bucks. Quantity, I get to pick between these two. So, I'm going to give it the X. Now, again, it doesn't matter which. If you wanted to put 850 minus X there, you can. Now, non members is nine bucks. It's going to be 850 minus X. And the total is $4,450. Okay? So now, we're going to multiply down. Once your boxes are filled, we multiply down. So 5 times x is 5x plus. Now, this is an algebraic expression in here. So what I always say is set up for the distribution. Less mistakes that way if you do. 4, 5, 0. Okay, so now we're going to do the math out for this. So let's put this all together. So 5x plus 9 times 850 is 7,650 minus 9x, because you distribute to both pieces, equals 4,450. All right, now, next thing I would do is combine our like terms. So you get negative 4x plus 7,650 is equal to 4,450. Okay. Now let's next we're gonna move this over so minus seven thousand six fifty. So I'm gonna bring it up over here. So negative four x now equals negative thirty two hundred. Okay. Let's divide by negative four. So x equals eight hundred. That's great. 
You found what x is, but that's not what we're not done yet. Okay? You now know that this is 800. Which means 850 minus that is 50. Okay, so my answer, to answer my question, the question is how many members were in attendance? Well, we knew there were 800 members. And there's number one. That's the final answer to this question. Okay, so let's look at number two. Okay, so it says, first thing we do is we read the thing, okay? Don't do anything else but read it. Okay, it says, Mr. Sharp bought some six cent and ten cent stamps. He bought 25 stamps in all and paid a buck seventy for them. How many of each kind of stamp did he buy? Okay, so we got a dude buying stamps. Okay, so let's go through this again. Mr. Sharp bought six cent and ten cent stamps. So six cent, which is point oh six, ten cent, which is point one zero. Okay. Now, he bought 25 stamps in all. That right there, total quantity. So total quantity is 25, which means, like I said before, one gets x, the other gets 25 minus x. Anytime they give you total quantity, it has to be split like this. Okay? Now, he paid a buck 70 for them. That's total money. 170. Okay, how many of each kind did he buy? All right, so we're set for our boxes. One, two, three. Okay, we have the six cent, we have the ten cent, we have our total. All right, so let's fill in what we know. Six cent value is 0 0.06. Quantity, I'm going to give X. Ten cent, 0 0.10. This will be 25 minus x. It's going to equal to $1.70. Okay, so now that we're set, let's multiply down. 0.06x plus now 0 0.10. Again, I always set up for the distribution. Equals 170. Okay, now I'm going to distribute. So 0.06x plus 2.5 minus 0.10x equals to 170. Now here's where you have to be careful, folks. When I combine my like terms, 0.06 minus 0.10 is not 0.4. This says if you have 6 cents and you owe 10 cents, okay, you still owe... Four cents. Now again, if you're awful with decimals, I would recommend using your calculator for that, even that simple calculation, to make sure you don't mess up. Okay. So now from here, we are going to subtract the 2.5 over. So minus 2.5. I'm going to bring it over here a little bit. So negative 0.04x equals um, negative 0.8, okay, divide by negative 0.04, oh. so when I divide, do that out, you get x is equal to 20. All right, great. Now let's go back. I now know x is 20. So 25 minus 20 is 5. So let's make sure we answer the question. How many of each kind did he buy? All right. So we know he bought 20 of the 6 cent stamps. Okay, and then he bought 5 of the 10 cent stamps. And there's that question. All right, let's look at number three. Oh, I'll leave that kind of up there so you can see it. All right, last one. Now, this one's a little bit different, but we still treat it the same way. Read the question first. Anderson has 12 more quarters than dimes in his piggy bank. 
How many of each kind of coin does he have if the bank contains $12.45? Alright, so let's start off. Now this is a coin problem. So the first thing we do is we identify our coins. We're dealing with quarters and we have dimes. Now as we all know, a quarter is worth 0 0.25 and a dime huh? and a dime is worth 0 0.10. Okay. Now, Anderson has 12 more quarters than dimes. So that means we're not given total quantity like we were up above. This is specific quantity. They're specifically telling us the quantities. Okay. So Anderson has 12 more quarters than dimes. Well, the fewest quantity here is going to be X, and that will go to the dimes. Now, since Anderson has 12 more quarters than that, this is X plus 12 for his quantity. Now, how many of each kind of coin does he have if the bank contains 1245? That's total money. 1245. Alright, so let's set up our boxes. Okay, let's do quarters. We have dimes and we have total. So let's fill in what we know. Again, quarters is 0.25, quantity is x plus 12, dimes is 0 0.10, quantity is x, it's 1245. <clears throat> okay, so now that we're set, let's multiply down. So again, 0 0.25 with x plus 12. Plus, now 0 0.10 times x is just 0.10x, equaling 1245. Now we're going to distribute. So we get 0.25x plus 3 plus 0.10x is going to equal to 1245. Right? Okay, now let's combine our like terms, and again, be careful with your decimals here. Put that together, you get 0.35x plus 3 equals 1245. Now, like the normal equation, I'm going to minus the 3. <coughs> 0.35x equals to 945. <laughs> okay, now divide by 0.35. Okay. And you get a grand total of 27. Now, again, we're not done. Let's go back. So if x is 27, 27 plus 12 is 39. Oops. So, again, answering the question how many of each kind of coin does he have? Well, he has 39 quarters, and he has 27 dimes. So, that's the end of this first lesson. Hopefully you learned a lot, and hopefully you understand and learn this pretty quickly. It is a little tough. There's a lot of word problems. You just have to be patient and go very carefully with this. All right, so then I will talk to you next time.